a 14 year battle by the state's top lawmakers ends in victory this week as Greenbelt, Prince George's County, selected now as the future site of FBI headquarters. And it's a decision that brings with it jobs, money, and prestige for Maryland. Denise joins us live now with the latest developments. Denise. Well, Nikki and Rick, this morning the governor hosted what could only be called a celebration party for everyone who worked to make it a reality. Hello, team. Hello. Hi. Woo. Barbara Mikulski is not here, but Barbara Mikulski talked about Team Maryland. And although she's not in this room, she was there at the time that was critically important as we started this effort and moved it forward. Congressman Steny Hoyer says it was 2009 when the then FBI director Robert Mueller came to him and described a dilapidated, dangerous building housing his bureau. The men and women who work for the FBI can no longer be stuck in a headquarters that is literally falling apart. The General Services Administration, or GSA, was persuaded and began a search for a new site. Years of debate brought the choice down to either one of two locations in Maryland or one in Virginia. Over the years, the lobbying on both sides was fierce and there were many obstacles, including a year ago when FBI Director Christopher Wray weighed in. We saw the hand of the director of the FBI trying to change what should be a fair, competitive, open process to steer it to Virginia. We said that's not fair. This week, the GSA announced it had chosen Greenbelt. It's a decision that Congressman Hoyer says will save taxpayers over a billion dollars. An objective reading of all the facts led to the selection of the FBI headquarters at Greenbelt, Maryland, because it's best for the country, best for the FBI, and best uh, for the people. And a tremendous economic boost for Maryland. We know that our state is going to benefit. This, this, this decision, this is going to bring over 7,500 jobs to the state of Maryland. Will generate over four billion dollars of economic activity. And this is going to solidify our state as the tech and the cyber capital of the United States. Using a sporting analogy, Senator Cardin concluded by calling this morning's news conference a post-victory gathering. We have a game, a symbolic game ball to present to Congressman Hoyer, signed by all of us. Now, of course, the project still needs congressional funding, and there isn't yet a timeline as to when they'll break the ground on what the GSA calls a state-of-the-art facility. Back to you, Nikki.